Every day, there are hackers and bad actors on the internet trying to hack into your website either to steal valuable information, upload malicious content, or take control of your website completely. Even big organizations fall into the hands of hackers and cyber attacks every now and then, losing valuable assets and sometimes needing to pay a ransom before they get them back. So in this video, I'll show you five simple but proven strategies that you can use to protect your WordPress website from hackers so that you don't become a victim of cyber attacks. The first thing is to always use a unique username and a strong password for your admin login. I have to say this because it is very common for people to use admin as the username for their WordPress dashboard. So it's very easy for hackers to guess what the username is, and then they can use brute force attack to guess your password and gain access to your website. So using a unique username other than admin will make it one step harder for hackers to guess what your username and password is. Also, when entering your admin password, WordPress is going to show you the strength of your password. So you want to make sure that the password is strong and at least eight characters long. The stronger the password, the harder it is for hackers to be able to guess what the password is. You can just use the generate password function to get a strong password that will be very difficult for hackers to guess. And you can even go a step further to enable two-factor authentication so that anytime you want to log into your admin dashboard, you have to enter a code either from your email address or from your authenticator app. There are WordPress plugins that you can use to enable 2FA very easily. The second tip is to make sure that you have SSL certificate installed and activated on your website. So anytime somebody is trying to use your website, there's always a communication between their browser and the server. An SSL certificate to encrypt the data going from the browser to the server and from the server back to the browser so that no hacker can intercept any information that is going from one end to another. That's why an SSL certificate is very, very important. Let's say if somebody is trying to enter their credit card information to buy something on your website, SSL certificate will ensure that no third party can get to see that information. So any information that is going out or coming in is encrypted. And these days, users will not trust your website if you don't have an SSL certificate. Browsers like Chrome will tell you that this website is not secure. So make sure you have SSL certificate installed on your website and check to see that you have this padlock icon on your website URL. And the good thing is some hosting platforms like Cloudways actually gives you a free SSL certificate when you get one of their hosting plans. And Cloudways has extra security features that will make your website more secure. I'll talk more about those features in a moment. Now, the third thing you need to do if you want to keep your website safe from hackers, is to always make sure that your WordPress website is up to date. This includes your WordPress version, the thing you are using, and all the plugins you are using for your website. The thing is, no software is 100% perfect. A software could be working very fine and still has a lot of bugs that even the developers are not aware of. So what happens is over time, they get to discover these bugs, fix them, and then release a new version of that software. Sometimes this update could be maybe to add a new feature or to improve performance, but sometimes it could also be to fix a security flaw. So if you are still using the previous version of that software, hackers can easily use that security flaw as a backdoor to hack into your system. And this same applies to WordPress, the WordPress themes you are using, and the WordPress plugins that you are using for your website. So sometimes the new updates that you get are actually to fix security vulnerabilities. So if you are still using the previous version of that thing or the previous version of that plugin, hackers could easily take advantage of that to hack into your website. That's why you always want to make sure that your WordPress website is up to date, the thing you are using, and all the plugins that you have installed on your website, try to keep them up to date at all times. The fourth thing you need to do if you want to keep your website safe from hackers is to use a secure hosting provider. Picking the right hosting platform for your website is like the most important decision you will have to make if you want to protect your website from security threats. Even though there are a ton of security plugins on WordPress, it is way better and more effective if you can use the built-in security features from your hosting service. And this is because one, WordPress plugins are also vulnerable. A malware can actually block the function of some plugins. 
So let's say if a malware attacks the security plugin that you're using, that means your website becomes defenseless. But if you use a hosting service that protects your website, they'll be able to deal with all the threats before it gets to the website itself. And then the second reason is cost. Using a security plugin and paying for a hosting service separately can become very expensive. So it is way cheaper if you just pay for a hosting service and still get all the security features that you need to protect your website. So you want to host your website on a platform that has strong security features. Personally, I use Cloudways because Cloudways WordPress hosting comes with advanced security features and extra add-ons that will protect your website from hackers and malware. So over here, you can get to see the security features that Cloudways will provide for your website. I am going to leave this link in the description of this video so you can get to check everything out for yourself. But if we just scroll down here a little bit, you can get to see these features, dedicated server level firewall. And this will basically protect your server from malicious traffic, unauthorized login attempts, or any form of cyber attacks. And then the next one is automated protection with fail to ban. Here, Cloudways will use fail to ban to monitor login attempts on your website. And if they notice any suspicious login attempts that could be a threat, they'll basically block it automatically. Then the next one is regular security patches and updates, just to ensure that your website is using the best form of security that is currently available. They also have bot protection. This will protect your website from threats like bot traffic that will try to overwhelm your servers and prevent real users from being able to use your website. They also have a vulnerability scanner. And for this, Cloudways is working with PatchStack to keep you up to date if there's any threat that you should be aware of even before it becomes public. So you'll be able to take any necessary step before hackers get to know about it and start taking advantage of that threat. And then, like I mentioned earlier, you also get a free SSL certificate that you can install with just one click. And as you can see, there are also other add-ons that you can use to extend the security of your website. This includes Cloudflare Enterprise. One of the common strategies that hackers use is DDoS attack. And they basically flood your website with an enormous amount of malicious traffic beyond what your server can handle. But Cloudflare can protect your website from attacks like that. You also get Cloudways safe updates. I've already mentioned why it is very important to always keep your website up to date. And with this add-on, you can automate the whole process easily. And then they also have Rackspace email add-on and all of that. So to host your website on Cloudways, just click on the Start Free button. You can use my Cloudways link below this video to get a three days free trial without entering your card information. So you'll not be charged. You can try it out for free for three days to see if it works for you. So you can go ahead and sign up using your DigitalOcean account or your LinkedIn account or your GitHub account or your Google account. Or you can basically enter first name, last name, email address, password. And then how would you best describe yourself? Let's say if you're an e-commerce brand, you can just select e-commerce and then select an estimate of your monthly hosting spending. Then here where you see got a promo code, you can just enter my promo code, which will also be below this video. And with this code, you will get 20% discount for your first three months on Cloudways. Now just go ahead and check terms of service then proceed to create your free Cloudways account. Now, once you log into your Cloudways account, just come over to the applications section. And here you can see that there are two tabs, flexible apps and autonomous apps. The flexible option gives you more control over the different configurations for your website. But if you want a more managed option where they get to handle most of the work for you, then you want to go for the autonomous option. But right now, we are going to use the flexible option. So under the flexible apps tab, just go ahead and click on add application. Here, the first step is to select the type of application you are creating, basically the type of website you want to create. And let's say we are creating an e-commerce website. So I'm going to select WooCommerce. But as you can see, there are a lot more options here, WordPress, PHP, and all of that. Then you want to give your application a name. Let's say I'm going to use Match Shop. And then the server name, let's say I'm going to use Match Business as the server name. Then select your project. And then down here, you won't select the server 
that you want to use for your website. Now, there are multiple options, DigitalOcean, Volta, Linode, AWS, and Google Cloud. And each of them have different pricing and different plans. I will just use DigitalOcean for my server. And then you can also select the server size, just select you know, the size that you need for your website. And with time, if you need more resources, you can easily scale up and all of that. Then finally, you won't select the server location. I'll just use New York and then go ahead and click launch now. Now Cloudways is going to do all the background work and help you set up your server. So my Match Business server is ready. You can come over to applications. This is my website right here, Match Shop. And if I click on it, this is the default URL that came with the website. If you want to add your own custom domain name, you can come over to domain management and then click add domain and then proceed to add your custom domain name. Also, you can activate your free SSL certificate by coming over here where you have SSL certificate. Choose the less encrypt option. This is the free SSL that came with your cloud risk plan. Then go ahead and enter your email address, your domain name, and then click install certificates. Cloudways will basically handle the rest for you. And then you can get to see the security features that I mentioned earlier. There's the vulnerability scanner, the bot protection, malware protection, and then you can see the Cloudflare add-on and the safe updates. So if you come over to vulnerability scanner, here you see if there's any threat to your WordPress core, your WordPress theme, or the plugins you have on your website. So you see the name of the plugin, for instance, the version where the issue is coming from, the status, and if there's anything you can do about it, you see a recommendation right here. Then if you come over to bot protection, here this is turned on automatically and you want to leave it that way. It basically give you a report of the number of traffic blocked, the number of logins that have been blocked, and all of that. You can see everything nice and simple right here. Then for the malware protection, malware protection automatically identifies and removes malicious code from your application's files and database. And you can enable malware protection for up to five websites for just $4 per month. And the more websites that you have, the cheaper it gets. For up to 15 websites, it is just $3 per month. And for more than 15 websites, it is just $2 per month. And over here, you can see the benefits you get from malware protection. And to enable this, you can just go ahead and click the enable protection button. Now you can also come over to the Cloudflare tab. You are going to see the features that you get from this add-on. And then you can see the different pricing plans. And then you can just go ahead and enter your domain, click enable to enable Cloudflare. Finally, the safe update option. And with this, you can automate the process of updating your WordPress, your WordPress theme, and the plugins that you have on your website. That way you will not have to waste a lot of time doing it manually. And you can either update your website on demand anytime you want, or you can schedule the updates ahead of time. And here's a pricing for that. To turn this on, you can just go ahead and click on activate safe updates. That's super easy. So these are the kind of security systems you have on Cloudways to help you protect your website. The fifth and final thing you need to do if you want to keep your website safe is to regularly back up your website. And this is because anything can happen. Maybe you might even make a mistake that might lead to hackers, you know, hacking into your website. But if you always have a backup, then you can easily revert back to a previous version without losing everything. Another good thing about Cloudways is that it makes it super easy for you to backup and restore your website. So over here, you can come over to the backup and restore tab. And then if you want to back up your website, just click on the take backup now. And with that, it is going to create a backup of the current version of your website. And if anything goes wrong in the future, you can easily get it back right here. And then you can start to keep backup of your website daily or weekly or even monthly. The most important thing is to make sure that you always have a backup of the current version of your website. That way, even if something goes wrong, you will not have to start from level zero. You have something 
that you can easily fall back to and keep your business moving. And that's basically it for this video, guys. If there's any other security tip that I forgot to mention, please drop them in the comment section so that other people can get to learn from it as well. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.